multiple school districts that are openly um, defying what you've said is, is state law. Um, we have a bipartisan group of state senators uh, asking President Peeler to, to bring them back and to reconsider that proviso. Cases continuing to escalate across the state. Uh, have you had any change of heart on, on how this approach is going? Well, to um, my approach is we need to work together to do everything we can to keep the children safe. And we know that one thing that keeps the children safe is for adults not to be spreading the virus. And one way the adults can be safe is for adults to get vaccines, get a vaccination. You can hardly go anywhere in the state without seeing a place to get a shot for free almost 24 hours a day. So the answer, as, as Dr. Simmer has pointed out, among others in other states as well, the answer to this is the vaccine. And if some people don't want to take it, that's up to them. They, they, may ha they have reasons why they don't want. But if, if I, would, I would urge people, if you don't have a good reason not to take it, then go ahead and do it now. Schools are opening up. We have an ample supply, and we know, we know that the people that are going to the hospital, the people that are getting real sick, and tragically the people that are dying have not been vaccinated. So vaccines are the answer to this. Do you think it is a good idea at this point to repeal the proviso on, on that? That's, that's a state law. The General Assembly would have to come back into session to repeal But I don't think it's necessary. I think if we do the things that we know work, and the thing that works the best, we know, is the vaccine. Now, anyone who wants to wear a mask is free to wear a mask. If uh, the parents are the best experts on their own children, if they want them to wear a mask, then by all means they should insist that their child wear a mask. If they don't want their child to wear a mask, then they are the expert and they should not be forced by the government to require their child to wear a mask. They know their child's situation, they know their social, their emotional uh, makeup, they know their child better than anyone else. So parents must be a major part of this equation. But we know, we know what works the best and that is the vaccine. Do you think more Well, what, as those of us in government, and we, we have briefings on these things all the time, uh, including uh, just yet yesterday a briefing with the leadership in the House and Senate, this morning yet another briefing with the Hospital Association, DHEC, and others. Uh, people have to make their decision. The government decision is one that's by, by mandates. And I do, do not believe that we should, man that government should mandate uh, masks. Uh, we went through this uh, a year ago with statewide mandates, yes or no. But um, the, there is state law, and I, I presume there will be a case file to determine exactly what it means, but there is a state law that does not allow the schools to require the children to, to wear masks. Let me follow up on that. Do you think that that, that case to be filed is, is pretty imminent that it should happen? Well, yeah, I think it'd be nice to have a, an answer on that question uh, that may uh, make things, make decision making easier for a lot of people. But again, I, I go back to this. We, we have, we've been down this road before. We have a, a new variant. We know it's dangerous. We know it spreads among children uh, a lot easier. I think it spreads m among adults as well. But we also know that a, about 46% of our people have had the, the total vaccines we know we've got enough for everyone in the state to have a, have the shots if they want them so i would urge everyone to look at the facts look at your own health situation you know people know their own health situation their capacities and their weaknesses better than anybody else if you want to get a shot now is the time to do it things are starting back up we're going back to school there's real danger out there we don't want sick children we do not want sick children and the best way to see that we do not have our children getting sick is for the adults to get the vaccination. We've seen at least one school district go to virtual Pickens County. Are you concerned about more school districts following their lead on that? Are you 
concerned about school districts going back to work? Well, there also state law that it been in place for years covers that as well. Uh, there's a, a limit on how much of the education, I think it's in the proviso, anyway, it's in state law, I think it's 5%, something like that can be virtual. But uh, there are limitations on when schools can and can't start. It's 180 days of school time. It can be extended into the summer. When you do that, that disrupts other, other things, vacations, uh, summer work, those sorts of things. Uh, but I, I would urge the, the school officials and, and everyone to, to look, at the, look at the facts, and it always boils down to, to two things. One is that the, uh, we must protect the, the elderly, those that are, uh, would have the most serious consequence. We must protect our children, and the best way to do that is to get that vaccination. And it's the parents, again, it's the parents who are the best experts on their own children. That is why they must be considered in any rule that is made by the government. But now we're not telling anybody don't wear a mask. If you want to wear a mask in school, if you want to wear a mask anywhere, go ahead. But uh, we know that the vaccine is the most effective defense I'm against sorry. the virus. Just to clarify, do you support school districts moving virtual if they do have an outbreak of cases like we've seen in some districts? Uh, there's no law against that. What I am saying is anything that is done, whether it's virtual, whether it's mask, uh, anything that is, is uh, done, of course the mask has already been settled by state law, but anything's done must be done with the parents and the child in mind. And the, the parents are the best judge of what is good for their own children. Okay. I don't believe so because the parents are the best judge of what is good and what is best for their children. And in the last year, we've lost a lot of education, of educational opportunities and progress with our children. We do not want to do anything. We want to protect them, but we don't want to do anything that, with all good intentions, has negative consequences. And there are parents who who have very strong feelings about the, their children being required by the government to wear a mask to go to school. And they have their reasons. And that is that factor of the parents, what the parents know their child best. They are the experts on their children. And they, their views and opinions must be considered and protected. That's the best way to protect the children. Yes, sir. Yes, Governor. So with that, you say that we need to rely on the tools that we know work. Arguably, masks have been proven to work to, uh, by multiple studies, to work to reduce transmission. They've also been proven to work in tandem with vaccines to make it very, very uh, unlikely that they'll reduce transmission. With that, when you say that there will be negative consequences for having a mask mandate, does it, even if you don't have a mask mandate, having the law that prevents the local school districts from consulting parents and saying that they're going to be penalized and face legal challenges, doesn't that create a barrier that would make them not be able to consult No, parents? no, what, what is, is left out of the equation that you described was the fact that any parent who wants their child to wear a mask can have their child wear a mask. Anyone in the school or anyone else that wants to wear a mask can wear a mask. Uh, we know the sociologists and mental health people have said there are consequences both from the distance learning, the isolation of the children, as well as covering up the faces of children where they can't communicate uh, their, their social and mental consequences among some people. Who, kno who knows about that? It is the parents who are the best judges of that. That's why the best defense that we have against this virus is the vaccine, which is plentiful. And it's available to, to every adult free of charge all around the state. If I may just do a follow up on that. So Dr. Bell has said that masks and the way that we do learning like that doesn't actually inhibit learning. 
what should South Carolinians trust? Should they be able to trust <laughs> their, their health officials from DHEC, the state health department, I, or elected officials, or how should they feel when we're hearing basically two components? I think the, par the parents, again, regardless of what all of the experts say in any field whatsoever, the parents know their children the best, and that is why the parents must be want the ones to make these decisions for their own child. They know what the impact will be on them, and that is a decision that must be made by parents. Uh, yes, sir. We, we know that the vaccine is pretty much the answer well, going forward for everybody to get those vaccinations. But if those numbers just simply don't increase, if people are dead set and not getting that vaccine, and we don't increase those numbers, what then is the next step for, for us, for government, for parents, for schools, if we're just not seeing those vaccination rates go up and this, um, well, I think that w the opposite is going to happen. I, I know that there have been one day we had, I think, is over 20,000 uh, shots uh, given. I read. I know that they're available everywhere. I know that people are coming in more now than they were a month ago. And I think the answer to that is that we're going to have more people getting the, the vaccines. We know the vaccines work. Everybody agrees that the, the vaccines uh, do work. Now, of course, they're critics of that as well, just as you have people on both sides of the mask issue. But I believe the vaccine works. And Peggy and I took the vaccine. We had all our shots. Uh, we also had the virus before we had our, our shots, and our children have, have taken the vaccine. And I would urge everyone, if the vaccine is plentiful, when we began this uh, over a year ago, that we had uh, the vaccine had not been distributed. You remember, it didn't start coming in until months after we were going through testing uh, and all that. But it is available now, and I would say now is the perfect time. I've been been stressing to to people with ch young people coming back to college, coming back to. Uh, four-year kindergarten all the way through high school. Now is an excellent time for adults to go on out and get that vaccine. If you don't want to do it, don't. But if you if you want to do it, then I say we've done it. Go on and get it. Two more questions. I have an off-topic question unrelated to COVID um, about Afghanistan. Have we seen governors from other states um, say that they welcome in refugees with those special immigrant visas from Afghanistan to their states? Are you, are you among those? Are you one of the governors to say, you know, those with those SIV visas can come to South Carolina? Yes, the thing to remember there the, is that those people that you are referring to help protect Americans, now they are in severe danger. And it is our duty to help them. They helped us, we need to help them. Last question. Thank you guys.